Oh well, so yesterday we went to a bando in JB uh, because of either poor planning or the driver just didn't know shit and we ended up there at the spot late. So we got at the spot probably 2.30. We left at 8 by the way. That was like the mistake number one. We should have left at 6. But anyway, long story short, I have all of these packs not flown. And this one has been charging since Monday because I didn't want to charge in the last minute. Uh, I brought this guy, the new... I, I, it's a new build. It's nothing special about this build, but just... I got new motors. These are Axis 227s. Shout out Drones for Speed for sending me these motors. I mean, I paid with my money, but you know, they're the only ones that could get it to me quick enough. I love you, Lao. Sponsor me, please. Uh, yeah, you can see the straps as well. These straps are high quality. Man. I have the strange, same straps on my other build as well, and they're just as good. They last so long. The reason why I'm doing this is that basically I built this quad with smaller 227 bells. I never really flew flew with 227 because straight away I got the Imperials, and they are 2506s, which are wide bells. So I built this thing specifically for the bando because they're smaller bells. So if you crash, right, the likelihood of you damaging a bell will be less, or at least hitting the bell will be smaller. But even then, I only had one crash yesterday at the bando, and already I have a, a nick here. You can see the bell's still fine, and these are not not uni bells either. For a premium motor, you would expect it to be uni bell, kind of like the new uh, FPV cycle. And you can see it's also taken some few hits and crashes here. What I'm going to do is that. I'm gonna try and see if I can tell the difference between the two. Uh, this is not gonna be a blind test. I'm just gonna fly them. They are virtually identical. And the reason why I say they're virtually identical, same frame, Apex. They're both running KISS Minis, uh, KISS Ultra Minis, and same Foxy Reaper ESC, and um, you know Vista, Crossfire, and whatnot. And both are gonna be running session. This is the Axis, different prop color. And this is the FPV cycle. I want to see if I can tell the difference and if I can actually know which one I prefer. Thanks for coming along on my journey of discharging packs. It's a wonderful, lovely day. I hope the weather holds. And let's go flying. Taking off. Ooh, so much. Sounds all right. Your rewinds are fine. One thing I notice is that the rolls on this is really fast. Like, I don't know if it's the motor, but the responsiveness of this, uh, of this motors, right, are so crazy fast. All right, let's try and do a dive here. Okay, easy. But this one has better acceleration. I would say acceleration. Like if I wanted to get anywhere, if I want to go anywhere, like see, if I want to do an eject, it goes really fast. See, I think you want to do rewinds. Rewinds would be like super good. Okay, it's like catching low to the ground type of thing. Okay, almost at the end of the bat. It's very snappy on the roll. Like very, very snappy on the roll. It's like for me, I don't know if it's a rate thing. It just feels faster. Okay, I'm at four minutes my flight. My goodness. I'm back. FPV cycle, right? Oh, the, it sounds super smooth. The first time I ever flew the FPV cycle, I felt that the FPV cycle was underpowered, very underpowered. Like I needed to get, like, see, I'm in mid throttle already, right? I needed to get to the mid throttle even to just to do like a normal catch from a split S. I can notice a difference already, actually, because this is lower KV. It's uh, you needed to be very high on the throttle range. Uh, Hence the reason why I have the stick cam, so you can see. But here's the thing: it's like, in terms of responsiveness, I think it's just as good. Same prop. 
See, I could swoof. Do you see that? Do you see that? No prop wash. And that was, and usually the flat bounce are the ones that, the ones that you would have the most prop wash. But yeah. I, I can definitely notice a difference. When you go to flying the Axis Flying, Axis Flying has a lot of power. Whereas this guy takes a while to cat, to build the power, but you what you gain is like you gain throttle resolution. See? I can just like, you know, do a mid mid air correction. Let's try and do a low flat bounce. There's a rock there, don't crash into the rock line though. No? Oh, but the thing I love about the FPV cycle is this low throttle control that you have. Right. See? I would, ne I would never dare to do it with something as crazy. So maybe as a bando basher, this could be actually very good because let's say if you're flowing, Right, you're going from one hole or one gap to another. It may be a very good thing. I guess the the purpose the purpose of it does not suit the uh, what you call it um, the size of the motor because if you want to do bando bashing, right, you don't really want to fly with such big bells. I'm at three minute forty. I'm I'm coming in earlier already, so I guess it's like oh. Uh, the last time I flew. I said that it had a lot of uh, power and I oh uh, so much for power didn't if you're a flow pilot maybe this is not for you if you're a sabang pilot or the Patrick FPV Patrick style then maybe it is a quad for you so Oh, that's a yaw jump. Oop. That was a yaw jump. So, a yaw jump. What happened? What happened? Why am I, why am I hitting the ground all the time? What the hell? <clears throat> so, in summary... Oh, I like the axis flying. I like the axis flying. Quite a lot. It's very powerful. I think I figured out the, the, the problem why it's like, you know, I, when I went from the FEV cycle motors to the axis flying, then all of a sudden I, I kind of like lost uh, control. Not lost control, it's like I didn't have enough throttle resolution. On the FEV cycle, you can notice that the control is there. There's more resolution in the entire movement of the stick. So when I went to the axis flying, all of a sudden it's like I lost that resolution and my dexterity wasn't so good. That's why I kept hitting the ground. I just didn't have that fidelity of that movement to, to control my descent or control the throttle as I was coming in. So uh, yes, it's very powerful. It's very nice. It feels really good. Like this premium motors, I tell you, it's like the smoothness is like mm, next level. Well, that's my first hand impression. It's not going to be a review. I actually have a review of the FPV cycle like I've been working in the works for the last year. And because I can only think you could give a really honest review of a motor if you've flown many motors and also if you've flown the motors for a long, long time. And then you get to know all the ins and outs, all the quirks and everything about it. All right, if you enjoyed this, leave a comment, hit the like button and subscribe if you can. Uh, I'll be making, hopefully, more of this kind of content especially when I have like good sunny days and lots of batteries to burn so, and also escaping the popo. So, all right, take care. Have a nice one. See ya.